Hi, I'm Jennifer Lepore. I'm the Online Education Manager here at Artist Network. And today I have with me Claudia Nice. She's an artist that's here visiting and she's going to be shooting some videos for Artist Network TV. We've got one on drawing animals and another one on painting trees in watercolor pen and ink. So I thought we'd just take this time to talk to Claudia about what makes her tick as an artist. Um, my first question I had for you was that I know that of course you're doing a lot of painting in watercolor pen and ink. So with pen and ink that seems like sort of an unusual medium. How did you find your passion for that medium? I think I've always loved to draw. I started with crayons like every other child. Mm -hmm. But uh, I took a lot of art in high school and I actually won a scholarship to Kansas University. And that was for a summer course and I was so excited I <clears throat> went right from high school my little suitcase of oils and pen and inks and watercolors and I found that college in the 60s was a little crazy, a little psychedelic <laughs> and uh, some of the classes just didn't have the basics that I was looking for, the, mm -hmm. the uh, catching the reality of your subject and composition, that sort of thing. So after class I'd go to the Natural History Museum that was on campus and they would allow me to sketch in pen and ink and I think I learned a lot of basics from nature itself and from the museum sketching animals and, and little scenes and found out how it worked. Oh nice, that does seem like it would be a perfect medium for nature and its details. It really is, you can catch a lot of details, a lot of texture. Great, well with watercolor, um, adding that to pen and ink, do you ever find that you have any trouble with watercolor? I've heard that it's an unforgiving medium, I've worked with it myself and sort of tend to stop and put it aside when it's not looking too good. How do you get past that? Well, there is a stage called the ugly stage. And it's, it's where it's starting to, you lay down the basics and it's starting to turn into a picture, but it really doesn't mm -hmm. look like much. And when I get to that ugly stage, I have to keep reminding myself, you're at the ugly stage, keep going. Mm -hmm. And it does come together eventually. Um, you just have to work through it. Um, have confidence in yourself and see what you can do with it. Um, I usually put it away overnight before I trash it. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, um, I know that you know, you're know you here doing videos with us and that you've taught quite a bit in the past. I, in fact, went to one of your workshops years ago, really enjoyed myself. So how did you um, decide that you wanted to teach? Is that something you had kind of planned for all your life? Not really. I hadn't thought of myself as a teacher, but uh, my friends thought maybe I could teach them how to do some oils or some watercolor, mostly in pen and ink. They said, show us what you're doing. So I get together on, in the evenings and we'd have little classes and I learned to teach on my friends. Oh, that's fun. And uh, I also made a lot of handouts to, that they could take home with them and that's how I started writing books, little handouts. That's great. So in addition to the books and videos, are you still teaching those types of classes now? Uh, I've scaled back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I have weekend workshops. I have a studio, Brightwood Studios in Oregon. Right. And I do teach work at weekend uh, seminars there. Okay. And uh, Friday, Saturday, and we really get into a, a lot, lot of texturing, a lot of theory, and we end up with some really fun paintings. And then I do teach a, an evening class once a week. Okay. And from what I've seen, I've seen a couple pictures that you've shown me of the location around your studio and your home. It just seems like it's filled with nature and animals. Is that pretty much what you've been drawing your inspiration from all Absolutely. Yeah. Nature is my inspiration. Um, mm -hmm. I live in the mountains, Mount Hood, Oregon, and we live in the foothills. I never know what will show up. There was a bear in our yard the other night. Oh my goodness. Um, but I, I think it's the greatest place for painting because you've got the scenery, you've got the colors, and my students just love it there. Well that sounds very dreamy. Thank you so much for coming in to speak with us today. and for coming in to shoot these videos. I'm excited about them. Well, I'm excited about this too. Thank you, Jennifer. You're welcome.